Project Day is when all of the seniors present their work in front of companies, parents, family, professors. Learn stuff like by doing research that you just can't really learn in the classroom. It definitely puts a different perspective on your education. Our project is called Phony Money and the idea behind it is that we want to allow customers to make payments with their cell phones. The cell phone is now your MP3 player, the cell phone is now your camera. Why can't the cell phone also become your wallet? The Phony Money system has the potential to be much more secure than just carrying around a wallet. Our customer is Major Keith Francis. He presented the idea to us and told us, do whatever you want with it. This is our project and just make it successful. He's really kind of investing in us to do a good job for him and uh, to really actually pursue this and take us to the next level. Evelyn Macro Degeneration is like a, like, it's like essentially it happened in old people. It's like the leading cause of blindness in the Western world. So what we're trying to do is use a, a technique which is like a safe biodegradable like degradable polymer technique to implant that into the eye. When you have these extra blood vessels, you have an increase in fluid in the area directly below the retina. What we're trying to do is use our drug to um, remove those extra, extra blood vessels and reduce that amount of fluid. We've shown um, that uh, our drug is very effective at inhibiting those blood vessels. But everything that we've learned um, in this in the senior project has been from scratch. That's the whole point of senior project. You're supposed to figure stuff out and apply them yourself. It's pretty obvious in the news today. Uh, there's an energy crisis going on, and a lot of people are coming up with different solutions to solve that. One way is with wave energy collectors. As the waves go past it, the device bops up and down in the water. Through harnessing that change in height, you're able to convert that height into electricity. Anyone could basically fit it in their garage, in an office, in a lab, and be able to test cheaply and easily. It helps to have that hands-on experience to realize that everything works on paper, but not always in real life. Mm -hmm. We wanted to build something. We wanted to have something that we could set on the table by the end of the year and be like, this is what we made, this is what we designed, and we built it, and we could do it. I live at Harvard Ave, so I take the train in like every day. And I've waited for 30 minutes, sometimes I wait for 5 minutes, and it's pretty inconsistent. 15. What TNAV does is that it takes cell phones and turns them into pretty much train trackers. It's all based on the community of people using cell phones. You can use people's cell phones to track where the MBTA, Green Line, B Line trains are and we have estimates to tell you how long it's going to take to get to the next stations after that. Looking at this information, you can tell, okay, I pretty much have nine minutes before the train's going to be at the station. Semester, spring semester is all doing work by yourself, hands-on. You can teach yourself new, new technologies, you know, that you're not going to learn in the classroom. The general application of our project, the, the the sort of big medical range that we're um, looking to address, the big medical problem, is cancer therapy. And what we're doing is looking at one cancer in particular. What we're trying to do is work on the work on a particular system for locally delivering a drug. So what our lab is working on is looking at live cells and tagging them, tagging the machinery in the cells in vivo and looking at what happens to the cell machinery in real time. What I've learned from this experience is how to look at a failed experiment and use it to guide the next one. It is amazing how often my, project, my, my reactions don't work or something fails and it's very frustrating but then when you finally get something to work it is so rewarding and you are so psyched about it.